Welcome to episode 5, the first look into circuit mode. Circuits bring interactivity and functionality to your levels. They may be the hardest part to master, but they also yield the greatest results. I'll start each circuit video with a quick theory overview. All circuit props require power to function, and all power comes from a power source. In this video, we're going to unlock a door. In circuit mode, you can connect props together with wires, which passes along the power. By default, locking doors are locked and cannot be opened, unless they have power connected to their unlock input, seen here as the open padlock. But enough of the theory, let's check it out, shall we? First, we have to place down some props. So enter prop mode by using the quick wheel or by pressing F3. Then press tab to open up the catalog. Locate the power source and add it to your hotbar. You can drag it across. Now do the same for the locking doors. Personally, I find it easiest to use the search bar for this. Great. Now with both those items in your hotbar, press escape to close the menu and place the props in the scene. If you don't know how to select props in the hotbar, you can either use the corresponding number keys or hold down shift and scroll your mouse wheel. Now the magic happens. Use the quick wheel or press F4 to enter circuit mode. Hover over the power source to see its circuit options. Move the mouse over the lightning bolt above the main icon. Click and drag to start a new circuit. Drag it across and hover over the door to see the door's options. This prop is more advanced with two inputs and two outputs. Okay, we just want to connect it to the open padlock underneath for now. Great work. But circuits don't receive power in edit mode, so press F10 to enter play mode and see your creation. Try opening the doors to make sure they're unlocked. Awesome, the power is successfully going to the doors. Next, we're going to hook up a button to the door. The button will stop the power reaching the door unless it's been pressed. But before that, we need to talk about the inputs and outputs. Props can have inputs and outputs, which vary based on the prop's functionality. Inputs, which are always located along the bottom, accept power wires from other props. This toggle button accepts one input. The icon displayed is a power symbol, and it just means power goes here. Note that only one power wire can connect to one input at any time. Connecting a new wire will remove the original. The toggle button has two outputs. Outputs are always along the top, and they're where you start a new power wire, like how we did with the power source earlier. The two outputs on the button represent whether the button has been pressed or not. If the button has not been pressed, it will pass the power to the first output. But if it has been pressed, it will pass the power along to the second output. Let's take a look at our original diagram with the new button added in. I will disconnect the power source from the door's unlock input, and instead connect it to the toggle button's power input. We will then connect the toggle button's pressed output and connect it to the door's unlock input. When the button hasn't been pressed, the door won't receive power. But when the button has been pressed, the power will pass along and unlock the door. And let me show you this in game. Enter prop mode again and go into the catalog. Search for the toggle button and add it to your hotbar. Be careful not to select the broken version of the button. You can double check the name on the left here. I'm also going to grab the medium pedestal while I'm here. It's not necessary, but it will make things easier for us. Okay, now place them in your level. Enter circuit mode again by pressing F4. And disconnect the original circuit. To do this, look at the door and hover over the unlock input. Where the wire is currently connected, hold shift, right click on it, and the wire will disappear. Okay, let's take this from the top. Hover over the power source and drag the power output to the button's power input. Next, while you're hovering over the button, click and hold the pressed output, which is the second icon along the top. Drag it across to the door's unlock input. And that's it, we're all done here. Let's jump into play mode again by pressing F10 and have a look. Okay, let's actually check the door is locked to begin with and walk into it. Yep, that's definitely locked. Right, let's push the button and try again. 
There we go. By pressing the button, we are allowing the power to reach the door's unlock input. And if you press the button a second time, we will stop the power and the door will lock again.